hey, have you heard a word? Because I have a word that needs to be heard so now breakfast, lunch, and dinner can be served. As I discussed with you last time, I'm going to talk about salvation. So basically salvation, in my ministry, we have a salvation prayer. And that's just to cover the basis. It's just like an outline or some people have um, called it a formula to salvation, which is simple. It's just asking God, please save me. God, I believe in you. Please save me. That's the simpleness of it. But we say a salvation prayer just to make sure that we're saying the appropriate things that our heart understands, our mind understands what we're saying so that it's genuine and it's honest and it's true so that God will feel the same way about what we're saying. When witnessing with someone, I like to ask them to close their eyes, bow their head, and repeat after me. Really simply, right? And I say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart and into my life. I thank you, Lord, for dying on the cross for me on Calvary. Through your precious blood of Jesus, I'm being cleansed and set free from all unrighteousness. I know now that my name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. I want to be a prayer warrior and to communicate with you through your Holy Bible. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Really simple, and the point, like I said, is just to confess that you believe in God, that you believe Jesus died on the cross, that you believe that he rose up from the dead, that you believe that it was all for you, and that you can be cleansed through that. And that um, the validity from that comes from John 3.16, where it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So God loved us enough to sacrifice his own child for our lives and so that we may be forgiven of our sins. The basis for saying the sinner's prayer comes from Romans 10, verses 9 and 10. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Okay, so in conclusion, I just want to say that salvation is very important because it's the first step, um, and it's what pushes you on the right pathway towards a personal relationship with God. When you confess with your mouth that you believe Jesus died on the cross and rose for the dead, from the dead for you, and that when you um, repent of your sins and ask to be forgiven, God hears that, feels it in your heart that you're genuine, and he um, forgives you. Now, from that point on, you can expect to still mess up and to still be human and imperfect, but from that point on, all you have to do is say, God, I know this was wrong, that was wrong, please forgive me for this sin or that sin or whatever may have happened that day or at that moment or at any time. Um, it's just important to know that it's important to confess your sins. It's important, um, it says in the word too, to confess your sins to one another, but at least to confess them to God because he knows you're doing it anyway. And it's just good to be open and honest with at least him. And um, that will draw you closer to him. You'll have a more personal relationship with him. And therefore you're, um, your life will be enriched and you will have more fulfillment um, instead of living in the world and trying to get the fulfillment out of the worldly materialistic things you can now get them from the spirit and from the Lord so I would just want to encourage all of you to if you didn't say the prayer with me to please say it rewind and say the prayer and to start your um, relationship off right with God Reading the word is a really great way. You don't have to be overwhelmed and try to read the whole thing in a day. But even just reading a line is a great way to start your relationship. Praying is as simple as, hey God, what's up? How are you doing? I'm not doing so good. I thank you for waking me up and I ask that you protect me today. Something just as simple as that. That's a prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. You know? So it's just like talking like I'm talking to you right now. So, all in all I said... Say the salvation prayer, very important. Then continue on by confessing your sins daily, praying daily, reading even a line of the word daily. And that is going to change so many things for you. So if you like what you've seen, please stay tuned for more. My next video is going to be about hate and love, loving hate. <laughs> and um, I'm excited to come back and talk to you guys about some more. So I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.